So welcome back to another episode, and the dust has settled from the Switch presentation. People have made a billion videos about this. Uh, I was one person who made a video about it as well. And uh, yeah, it's taken a few days for it all to settle in on what it all meant and what I take away from it, what you guys take away from it. Man, oh man, I just want to talk about it today. Is it worth it? Is it worth getting a Switch on day one or is it not? Or is it worth waiting a little bit? We're going to talk about all this stuff. I'm going to talk about a lot of what I like and a lot of what I don't like. Seriously, I, I remember I did the conference and I watched it and I was like, it was kind of like stunned. I just took it all in and then a couple days later I was like, I like this, I don't like that. And for a really in-depth video, I'll put a link down below to Victor Lucas's channel. I went over there and we talked for like over half an hour about the Switch. And it's a really good conversation. We really get in depth of all the things we liked and what we didn't like. It was a really good combo episode. So I'll put that down below. So anyways, I wanted to do my own episode here and really get into depth of what I liked and what I didn't like. Okay, what I like about the Switch is just the basics. I like the system. I like the handheld. I like that it's a console and it's a handheld. I'm upset a little bit about the battery life. It's not as robust as what I would like. Maybe in the future they're gonna put a you know a future battery on there, but I would like it to have like 10 hours of battery life, eight hours to 10 hours right out of the gate. That's the way it should go. And what I'm concerned about about the Switch is that over the years they're gonna make more compact, bigger, you know, better models, and that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. But I really wish we got you know as much memory as we wanted because the memory is so small in this version and you just know a years down the line they'll expand all that and stuff like that so okay i'm getting this into it i'm just going to talk about it uh i do am i getting a switch i'm getting a switch on day one i've already pre-ordered it it was my birthday the other day i was able to get down to eb games up in canada here i was the first in line and i pre-ordered it because i the reason why the reason why if you've been watching this channel for a few years, you know I am absolutely crazy about the new Breath of the Wild, you know, the new Zelda. I need to play this game and I want to play it on the Switch. The reason why I want to have it on the console and take it with me, and I just want to have that experience. I want to know what that's like. I, I'm, I'm really curious about what the you know Zelda looks like on the handheld version of it. I'm looking forward to it and to me, the launch lineup was, no, I'm going to get into that too, the launch lineup was very average at best. It really was. Uh, the game that you know, sold it for me was obviously Zelda, so that makes it worthwhile. But other than that, when I watched the conference, I was like, all right, Mario, oh my god, it's holiday next year. And that game, if that came out, was a, a game that was included with it as well, you know, that came out in the launch window, that would have been absolutely amazing. But the 1, 2, 3 Switch, I was, I didn't kind of figure it out till a couple of days later. I'm like, oh, that was a thing. Oh, that's a game. I thought it would be like a downloadable game or it would be free in the bundle, uh, you know, like Nintendo Land or something like that, but it was, and I'm like, Oh, you have to buy that game. I was really blown away. And the thing that bothered me about that, it was like a, a cool tech demo, kind of. But I want to play video games. I'm not interested in shooting my friends or milking cows. <laughs> yes, there's like a milking cow simulator in that 123 Switch. I don't know what even that's about. So I wasn't really like over you know, a few days. I was like, I don't really care for that too much. Arms, I looked at that at first and I'm like, is this a real game? Is this like a packing game or a downloadable game? Or is it a cheap game? And then it's its own game as well. And ARMS has kind of grown on me. No pun intended. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. I kind of like the idea of using the controllers and all that, but it seems like a, a novelty thing that I'd probably probably get sick of after like 10 minutes. I'd be like, well, that was fun. And then I'd be probably done with it. And the same with that 1, 2, 3 Switch. I'd probably shoot a couple of my friends once or twice. I'd be done. Mario Kart Deluxe coming and Splatoon 2 coming. Those are cool. Those are cool. They did look a lot like their last games though. I'm just being honest. They did. It didn't seem like a huge like blow me away kind of moment for a next generation system. But I guess it's only a bit of an upgrade system. It's not like fully super next generation as we all know. But uh, I just wish that we got a few other games 
in the launch window lineup. Like I just was hoping for a little bit more. Zelda's enough for me, but I was just hoping for like a Pikmin or a Luigi's Mansion. I know and my expectations were high. They were high. The third party development looked interesting. Uh, a lot of Xenoblade 2, very cool. Uh, Suda51 talking about some game he was potentially going to start working on. And that was my under the Shin Megami Tensei game. It looked amazing. The only thing that I took away from that was there's a lot of people making games, but they're so early in development. So early. And I was like, oh, I, I just, my thing is, I want the Switch to be successful. I want that more than anything. I, I just want it to not do what the Wii U did. I want there to be a lot of games all the time and not just first party, but third party. I want I want Nintendo to be successful. I don't get anything out of Nintendo not being successful. I don't get to play their games anymore. I want them to do well. I just hope that they're holding some games back and they very, uh, very well may be holding some games back that they don't want to show right now and stuff like that. So that's the thing. Should you get the game, the machine at launch, it's, it's a really interesting question. The only other thing that bothers me, and it really does bother me, is their online feature, uh, their online app that it's gonna be. It's gonna be an app that you get through your cell phone, there's not a lot of details, and you'll communicate with your friends through your phone. It's like, why, why isn't this not done in the system? And then you have to pay for it. I don't care, and I'll say this now, I don't care about paying for any online service if it's robust. Paying for Netflix is worth it. There's so much content. Uh, even PSN and you know Xbox Live is worth it. There's so much content. When I go on PSN, there are so many games I can choose for uh, and I get free games every month. It's a, I, I really like the service. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it for me for the amount of games. Where Nintendo has a track record, let's be honest, their online has never been that good. And uh, I want their online to be good. Every system, I'm like, get it right this time. No friend code, let's just get it right. So they're creating an app. The problem to me is this. Where's the games? You know what I mean? Where's the games to make it worthwhile? Okay, they'll, they'll pull out a Pokemon game in the future and maybe another game, maybe a Fire Emblem game, co-op and, and Mario Kart, obviously. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll be honest, I don't even play Nintendo games online that much. It's not that I'm a hater. I played Mario Kart online, had a bit of fun, but to me it's always about co-op and the couch. Love doing that. So there has to be a lot of games. There has to be a lot of games. And there's a they're talking about a service, which is really bizarre, where they give you a free game every month, like a ROM, and then they take it away after that month. You play it for one month and then they take it away. I don't know what that's about. I hope they change that. I don't know what the deal is with that. I just know I don't like it. It is the year 2017. Give the person the game to keep forever on that machine. Let them keep it. Because Nintendo, I know you guys don't know this, but it's the year 2017. The amount of people that have home ROM boxes that play every game in existence on their TV and they own the games for all of eternity already they're not moved by this at all. They're like, oh, okay. I can go and do that already. If you're going to offer your older games, which is always cool, let them keep it forever. And also, I just wish they got the online service right to begin with, from the Wii to now. How many times have I bought the, you know, the original Legends of Zelda? I bought it for the Wii, bought it for the Wii U. Am I buying it again? I should have bought it for the Wii, and it should still be with me now. Because I bought it. Now, how many how many cartridge versions of it do I own as well? So the online service is not sold to me at all. It has to be motherfucking charming and there has to be a lot of content or it's not worth the price of admission, right? That makes sense. That makes absolute sense. You bring the games, you bring all the fun, then I'm in and I have no problem with it. I'm not just gonna bitch, oh, you have an online service and I don't like it. If it's robust, I wish it was in the system. I don't know what's going on with the cell phone stuff. I really we're gonna be using my cell phone all the time to play online. Oh, okay, that's just the way they're gonna go. Uh, I think they want to keep the system away from them as much as possible and say, "Well, it's nothing to do with us. Like it's this app." 
You know, you guys are communicating through this app. It's not us. Because they always try to protect everybody, you know? Like, like the Nintendo online services have always been very protective of everybody. It's always a, a friend code and it's very, it's a very hard system to work. But I think they want to keep themselves separate from anybody who gets harassed or any of the normal things that happen online on a daily basis. They want to stay separate from that. So what else is there to talk about? There's like 80 games coming. I'm guess they're coming. You know, I know FIFA is in development, that's a joke. But uh, FIFA is coming as well. I don't know, to be honest with you, I was talking to my good, good friend, Andrew. And I've grown up with him, I've known him for like 25 plus years. And I said to him, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? And he's thinking, you know, he doesn't have a Wii U. And he's like, I might just buy a, a used Wii U to play Zelda. And I applauded him, I said, that's a great idea. That really is a great idea. You can't go wrong with getting that and now you get Zelda and you don't have to spend all this amount of money, you can get a really cheap Wii U and play a next generation game, you know, or, you know, the brand new Zelda game, I should say, right now. That's, that's a great idea. What I would say, and what I said to him, why not, why not do this, Andrew? Why not, don't get the Wii U, wait on Zelda, wait till the Switch comes out next holiday season with a pack-in game and the online system, everything's working. We've all learned this over the years, haven't we? we we've all learned that you wait. You can wait for video games. They always get better. The, the, the prices come down. The games get better. It's the best way to go. I'd almost say to anybody who's on the fence, wait till next Christmas. It's gonna, you're going to get Mario. You'll have Zelda. You'll have a plethora of other games. It'll be totally worth it then. I, I can't, honestly, I can't. In the launch window, the launch, I, it's very hard to justify. I justified it to myself because of Zelda alone. It was worth it to me for that. I made that call and I took my birthday money and I got a Switch. So it didn't feel like such a burn to me. It didn't feel like, oh my God, this is, you know, it, it was totally fine to do. It didn't hurt me too much. But for anybody out there that's kind of frugal, it's kind of like, I don't know, wait till next Christmas. That's my personal advice unless you can't wait and if you can't wait and you have a Wii U and you want Zelda get the Wii U Zelda it'll be perfect a perfect way to play it I think that'll be absolutely fantastic what do you guys think what do you guys think it's all sunk in for me now with the switch reveal and what it means at this moment but I think there's gonna be plenty of games in the future and I think the machine's gonna do well in the future but I think that's a little ways away still so anyways guys until next time